Most workers at Honda's car plant in Swindon are doing their last shifts today with the factory shutting down by the end of the week. More than 3,000 staff have lost their jobs as the company moves production abroad because of what it says are global changes in the car industry. Andrew Plant has more. Honda's huge factory on the edge of Swindon, a former RAF base. But from next week, Honda will also be history here. And for more than 3,000 workers, the closure was something they didn't see coming. I was like, OK, I'm going to work here for the rest of my life. I like working in Honda. And when they announced it, you know, we were on the apprenticeship as well. And it was just like my world had collapsed. We just didn't know what was happening. Jim has now found a new job, but the Honda closure is causing huge concern. There's not an awful lot of employment out there as it is. Marlene Ellsworth's husband made cars and her daughter's husband too. For this family, it's the end of an era. And how did you feel when you heard it was, it was going to go? Well, I'm a bit terrified, really, because it's something that's been there for so long. You know, as I said to my daughter when it happened, crikey, because of my son-in-law being working there, you know. I was quite shocked, yeah. One of the largest employers in a town where everyone knows someone who makes cars. And my brother-in-law works there, so he's been made redundant now, and uh, I just feel it's a bit amiss. Swindon used to be a good place. You could get a job anywhere in Swindon, wouldn't they? Now we have to scrape the barrel a little bit to get jobs. There are jobs in and around the area, but when you have a look at them, um, even if you had a look at um, factory-type work, they're paying half of what the guys would be paid in the, on the production line at, at Honda. It's not only Honda staff looking for work, hundreds more in local supply chains are also affected. As Swindon's largest car maker closes, the transporters leaving today fully loaded for the very last time. And Andrew joins us live now there from Swindon. What impact will this uh, closure have on the town, Andrew? Yeah, Ben, a very long time ago, believe it or not, they used to make parts for the Spitfire here. And there was a huge steel industry too, because that supplied the industry on which Swindon was built, the railways. That employed tens of thousands of people over decades in this town. And it really transformed Swindon from a pretty small place into one of the UK's industrial giants. But when that started to go, there was no panic here, really, because coming up the tracks uh, quickly behind were the car makers. And Swindon was perfect for that. It already had the steel and the supply chains. It already had the skilled workers and that sense of being an industrial town that the car makers loved. And that has thrived here for the best part of 40 years. So it is really impossible to overstate the impact of the closure of this last great car maker here in Swindon because everybody here is now wondering after the aeroplanes, after the railways and the steel, and now after the car industry too, what comes next for Swindon? Andrew, thank you very much indeed. Andrew Plant reporting. Uh